Hey doll, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a gorgeous coffee table out of cardboard box. I feel like that's my um, thing on this channel. Every time I do it, the video goes viral. So I love doing it from time to time. Every time I get like a new idea on something stylish, I will come back with a new video on how to do it and how to, you know, and just using Dollar Tree stuff. I'm that type of person, that type of girl that likes luxury on a budget and just how to make your home look so aesthetically pleasing yet not spending too much of a dollar on it so today i'm going to be showing you how i make this dollar tree coffee table with cardboard boxes my little trick i do it all the time and it always goes viral let's make this one go viral again before you watch this video give it a big fat thumbs up subscribe to my channel and what do we do on this channel before you watch Grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's do this DIY video. Today we have water. Grab your water, that's just as important as coffee on this channel. And let's get started. <laughs> these from Dollar Tree these are kind of hard to come by you can order them online but it's going to cost you way more than just finding it so if you find them get as much as you can I'm going to need three of these well for my my um, table for my box three is going to fit really good if you want to make it longer do four but I'm going to be doing three for my for my box that I have it's going to fit the size of my box well take these outside now and take the kept the covers I'm going to take the mirrors out and just to um, spray paint them and I'm going to show you the spray paint I'm going to be using it's in the rust oleum bright coat metallic finish spray paint and this is a silver spray paint and this gives it a really gorgeous silver finish so that's what I'm going to be using around the picture frame to make it look really gorgeous and take it from that black color to silver and this is such a good spray paint screenshot this you're going to need this also need Gorilla Glue. I swear by Gorilla Glue, it's the best glue for holding things down. You get a good hold, a good grip. Use Gorilla Glue. <laughs> and I'm using the white Gorilla Glue. You can use clear, but I prefer white. I don't know. I feel like the white one just holds things down more. I don't know. It's just something in my head. But I think that's all you're going to need for this project. Oh, and your box. I'm going to show you a box. What box you're going to be. Well, I'm going to show you my box measurements outside because a lot of people always ask me when I make stuff like this, the exact measurements. is 30 times 30 30 times 30 it's a really good size box and if you want you can make this taller but I like the height of mine I could add legs to legs to the bottom if I want to but I'm I like it flat I feel like flat is in style right now just like laying on the floor so I like this one this is the size I'm using for mine I'm take these off and all you have to do is be very gentle like just it's very easy you just pull these away and like this I'm doing it one hand and one hand on the camera oops and then just move these away and then take this and you just take it off and this is your mirror be very careful this we don't want to lose this and there we go and now I have the frame I'm gonna now go outside and spray paint this and I'm gonna do the same with this one here and take the frame off this one and do the same thing and spray them all in one go and then when I come back in and it's dry I'm going to put them back together again lay them out like this on a piece of cardboard and now as you can see I sprayed something else on top of there I'm just gonna spray them and make them gorgeous and silver
this dry for about a good hour one good hour just let it sit there and dry there's my mirror so you're gonna need a mirror it's right here I got the biggest mirror that they have in Lowe's and I'm gonna get parts of it cut down just a little bit just to fit my, my mirrors are dry but I wanted to show you this because I'm working with mirror I forgot to tell you please 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 wear some gloves you can cut yourself I have cut myself in many DIYs I got my glass from Amazon that's why it says Amazon basics and this is actually for gardening but literally this is so thick it's going to protect you from being cut by glass because glass is not a joke like mirror and glass is not a joke so please for your safety and modeling needs really good put some put get these gloves i'm going to have them in my link where you can get them when you're doing diys like this even when you carry your gloves from lowe's please please wear these gloves to carry them around because it's just better safe than sorry it's really good protection okay just had to let you know i'm not being paid for this i got them because i'm tired of being cut by glass and i'm going to be wearing them because i'm going to be cutting my glass down right now this is now a day later i actually could not cut this gloss on my own and I would not advise anyone to do it especially if you're not into this type of like DIY stuff so I went and got it cut locally and they even like beveled the edge like they made the edges not to be sharp I'm turning it so you can see you see the edges like I can run my fingers even though I'm not going to keep doing that I'm not going to try and tempt myself getting cut but basically I can run my fingers across it if like it's not going to hurt if I touch here so they cleaned up the edges so they're not sharp Lowe's do not like cutting so I'm done cutting glass with Lowe's all of this was cut for me for this project for only five dollars like at Lowe's yes they do it for free but the service sucks like they get it wrong they don't cut it neatly and they certainly don't clean up the edges and on top of that like they always say lie and say they're like they always try to like I'm not I'm not trying to accuse them of lying but like it almost feels like that they always say like their machine is not working or they don't have a blade none of the Lowe's and I go to all the Lowe's in my areas and they always make the same ex excuse so I will advise that you go locally and find a store that cuts glass and mirrors literally google that and find one in your area and trust me you'll be better than going to Lowe's do somewhere go somewhere that specializes in actually cutting mirrors because Lowe's don't obviously want to do that anymore so anyway they're cut and now I'm going to glue the mirror to the boards I forgot to tell you you're going to need 12 of these and you're going to need you have to times this four times <laughs> so you're going to need um, 12 of these and this four times Eight of these, twelve of these. I usually do um, I'm gonna put some heavy stuff on top of it I use either heavy books even shoes heels and stuff like that but I'm gonna use like cans and just like keep heavy stuff on top of it just so it can dry perfectly and it's not loose so I need to fix this other side this side right here needs to be fixed but yeah that's what I'm gonna do right now place this can on here and a can right here and just like place cans all over just so it can stay cemented and press all of this down it's starting to look really gorgeous very hard to tell this is made out of just picture frames you can't really tell right at this point and cardboard box but i love it can't wait to see how this looks when we're done i just feel like this is going to be my favorite out of all this is how it should look like when you're waiting for it to dry i actually got this kind of gives me a design idea it's looking kind of gangster this way i'm joking we're not doing it this way but this is how it should look like as you're waiting for it to dry go and find something to do right now i'm gonna put a face mask on while this is drying and while this is holding down all my stuff down i'm gonna distract myself and you're gonna do this to each side so this is four sides so this side the other side and the other side and then we're gonna put the big mirror on top finally when it's dry i'm gonna flip it on the other side and do the same thing i just did on all the other three corners left it looks so gorgeous i cannot stop staring at it it's now dry and perfect and ready to go 
I used Gorilla Glue to put the mirror down. I could not put the mirror down on camera because it's so heavy and I needed two hands to do it. So that's why you see like this part here because I had already put the mirror down. Now I'm putting the cans on to hold this down. It's dry now. This is the next morning. I'm going to take off these because we are now ready for the final big reveal. So I'm just going to take off all of these cans and this one. Okay, so now I've taken off all the cans. I'm actually going to decorate the top of the coffee table as I always do. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be putting on it. This is so stunning. Oh my God, dolls. This is my favorite. Oh my goodness. This is so stunning. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love everything about this coffee table. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh my God, dolls. Look at this. And yes, I didn't complete it all around. When I do a lot of my videos, I only do like the first two rows to show you. So I didn't complete all the way, all the way around before someone comments that. But you get the point. <laughs> it's stunning. Oh my goodness, I cannot stop staring. The forge is the boring flat box. And here is... Arthur. this oh my god I love it and just have this sitting like this oh my goodness dolls oh so gorgeous oh my god love it let's do the outro dolls if you enjoyed this video give it a big fat thumbs up if you're new to my channel subscribe down below I am obsessed with this is my favorite, favorite look of all. Like, I love it. <laughs> Easy to make, very simple. I love this like detail on the side. It gives it like a 3D look. Oh my God, this is gorgeous dolls. I love it. Coffee table for less. Dolls, I love this so much. Give this video a big fat thumbs up. Share this video dolls. I am obsessed. I love it. I love it. I love this so much, dolls. I cannot stop staring at it. It's definitely my favorite one. Thank you so much for watching, dolls. Bye.
you too 